Well, I have experienced loss myself. My husband, Jay, died um, in 1998 when he was just 42 years old. And my daughters at the time were only six and two. And I so wish I had had something like When Families Grieve because they were at very tender ages. And I think the beauty of this project is it can help kids of all ages because you feel very isolated and alone when you go through something like this. But to watch other families struggling, quite frankly, is incredibly beneficial. Working with Sesame Street and being part of this special has been an absolutely phenomenal experience. It's given us a chance to tell our story in the hopes that our story will help other people work on their story and help them through a, a rough time in their lives. I like the project because um, I'm, I know that I'm not the only one that went through this and I know how other people feel. Introducing Anna's cousin and my good friend, Jesse. Yes. All right. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Now for, for all of you who may not know this, Elmo and Jesse are actually first cousins. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, can't you see the family resemblance? <laughs> huh? Huh? I think Jesse looks more like me than you, Elmo. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, Jesse, but yeah. that's why you're here, isn't it? To, mm -hmm. to share your experience and to help others who may be going through the same thing, right? Yeah, it wasn't easy for me at first, and sometimes it still isn't, but knowing that I wasn't alone really helped me a lot. We're most honored today to have the families here in front of us, and these are the kids who's, uh, who lost a parent, and these kids tell their brave stories as part of Sesame Street as well next Wednesday night. I'm so proud of each and every one of them. And I just want to say a big thank you for sharing your, your big feelings, as Elmo's dad said, and for talking about something that is really, really hard to talk about. I think the idea of planting a tree in memory of someone is such an important, tangible way to remember the person who has been lost. It's very symbolic because even if you lose a loved one, you continue to grow and life does continue. As Thomas Jefferson said, the earth is for the living and we must all kind of go on and find joy. We have to really be motivated to get the most out of our lives while we can.